These are the voyages of SV Prism. The crew on board are searching for exotic landscapes and foreign cultures as they sail their 33-foot sailboat beyond horizons. Current time is 428. We are leaving Abriojos on our way to, um, where are you going? We're going to San Juanico, Via San Juanico. Uh, as you can hear from behind me, uh, there's not much wind outside right now. It's a 65 mile trip to San Juanico from Abriojos. Uh, we need to average at least five knots. So while the wind is light right now, we're just gonna punch through with the motor, going about five and a half knots. There's wind forecast to come up today. So hopefully that will in fact come up today and uh, we can do a lot of sailing. right now hand steering and uh, the point right back here is breaking pretty good so Sean's pretty stoked but hopefully we can get some better he can get some surf around this point this is the main point into the cove off my port right now it's blowing probably about a steady 15 16 knots right now with swell and we're kind of surfing down them so we're doing about seven knots um, no it's super beautiful in here I think I'm, I'm, I, I'm very happy we came down here and are gonna have. It sounds like we're gonna be here for at least about a week, so pretty stoked. San Juanico is better known as Scorpion Bay. The bay is famous in the surf community for having one of the longest breaks in the world. Generally, when you're looking for an anchorage and a surf spot in the same location, they don't quite mix. Scorpion Bay is an exception to the rule with multiple breaks within paddling distance from the safe anchorage and the boat. We're going over to second point, which is the mellowest of them all pretty much with this uh, northwesterly swell. And I'm gonna learn, Shannon and I are basically gonna learn how to surf. So basically we're total noobs, total beginners. Or in surf terms, we're complete beginner kooks.
All right, we are back from surfing in Scorpion Bay. And I gotta say, it was a lot of fun. We had a great time. Um, I'm exhausted though. My arms and shoulders are killing me. It's a ton of work. I don't know. I know it might, you might be um, surprised to hear this, but because uh, I know I'm a stunning example of a male being in his top physical form, but I am exhausted. And I was definitely the weakest paddler out of everyone out there. Um, but not to say that we didn't have a great time. We had an awesome, I had a great time. I'm sure Shani had a great time. We all got rides in. Uh, Sean was a pretty good teacher. Um, they were all just super mellow little waves that, you know, probably one to two feet at most. I got up, one of my rides was a solid like five or six, seven, maybe even close to 10 seconds. I felt like a minute, but it, it, I'm pretty sure it was only about 10 seconds. But I actually got up and was able to, you know, actually move the board around a little bit. It was a lot of fun. Uh, Shan and I are having just a little snack. She made hummus and some homemade um, tortilla chips out of uh, tortillas. By the way, if you have a boat with a bowsprit, when there's nothing up there, it is the best place to damn fish. You can get a nice, you can get the best cast on the entire boat because there's nothing to impede you up there. It's awesome. What are you trying to figure out, Shani? How to cook octopus. Two minutes and then it's ready to do whatever it is that you want to do with it. Let's see. Oh, what is this? I pushed it from John. It's Indian Pale Ale. It's my last beer. I snagged it. Gosh, I was just thinking about it this morning. I had like eaten nothing but canned chili for the last 20 days and fish and rice. Probably need some vitamin C in that diet. <laughs> Vitamins and joint. We I, have, I assume we have. vitamins are in lettuce because lettuce is supposed to be healthy for this grain. I don't know if that's a thing. The vitamins in lettuce? What are you making over there, Sean? Yes. Uh, I'm making the captain's uh, favorite, dark and stormy. Oh, does girlfriend get one? Right here. always looks so fucking gross when it's done. <laughs> what is that, Scott? Save for camera. Oh, is this on video or camera? Oh, no, this, video. Is, this is video. I don't do well with video. It's okay. <laughs> don't lock up. You're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Oh, I'm supposed to say something? Yeah. Oh. Just tell me what it is. <laughs> Octopus. Mmm. <laughs> what other video experience have you had, Scott? Zero. <laughs> so how do you know if you're bad or not? Intuition. Do that not open mix. that trail mix. It is you will not be able to stop. <laughs> That's all it says. Very thin rounds and beat each one lightly. Ah, oh, octopus burgers, guys. Whoa. So this would be cut the oblique one inch slices. Are you skinning it, Scott? I was trying to. Wow. I think it might take like five hands to do that though. Well the colors change in octopus. They they, they have like active camouflage. We use the fancy word chromatophore. I used a halo word, alright? <laughs> Fucking active camouflage. <laughs> San Juan Nico, the town of, or on land now, with a very smooth landing. And now, uh, we are going into town. A few supplies we want to grab, and then just check it out what it has off course. Cannot wait. Haven't really been in a town since the right? Uh, no, oh, no, no, Aubrey, yeah. The sad town of Aubrey. Very readable. Oh. 
As we explored Scorpion Bay, we got to better know our new cruising friend Scott and his dog Aatrox. Scott is a Southern California guy in his 20s who did not want to be in the same old routine. So he took all the money he had in the bank and bought a boat off Craigslist. Having zero sailing experience, he taught himself how to sail on the way down the coast. Scott is a superb fisherman, which comes in hand as he and Aatrox lived almost completely on a fish and beer diet, as long as it stayed within his $4 a day budget. Found this on the side of the road. <laughs> as soon as the camera goes on, his whole Come on. <laughs> he's all. Scott's gonna open this up for us. Oh, it's a little berry. Looks something. like a f***ing water. Oh. I think it's a watermelon. No, but look at the inside. Okay. It doesn't look anything like a. Well, those are seeds, honey. It's a good thing we have a taste tester here. <laughs> no, no, uh, I, don't, I don't, don't know if I do that. Don't. That was. <laughs> I'm gonna chase it down with beer. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Alcohol is killing any of the poison. Okay. Tried doing some snorkeling and some spear fishing. Scott was really the only successful one with that. He caught. What kind of fish did you catch? Uh, a a broomtail grouper. Is that what we're going with? Or is that a leopard grouper? We're going to say one or the other. Probably about a 20 pound fish and then. Grunt. Two grunts. Were they both grunts? I think so. So Jack and Angela, who they have a beautiful house overlooking the bay. We ran into them yesterday on our little hike around town, and they were on their ponga, and they um, swung by and they caught a few tunas, and they gave us a nice, probably a good 15 pounder. And uh, we've been cutting them up and making just raw uh, kind of sushi out of them, and Shannon's over on the grill, rocking the uh, tortillas, making them into tortilla chips. Sean's continuing to slice them up nice and thinly, so they're very tasty. And I'm just here eating it, because it's good. Scott's over there feeding Aatrox. I didn't think he liked crawfish. He crawfish. Can I put soy sauce on? Soy Everything's better with soy sauce. He's like the best. <laughs> The days were on and we all decided to get together for a beach bonfire. The sky was clear and the stars were shining. We cooked fish over an open flame and then went into a glowing frisbee game. Being able to hang out on the beach and have a fire without anyone hassling you takes you back to how California beaches must have been before all of the rules and regulations. I'd say one of the negative parts or parts of ownership of the Hans Christian is all the bright work maintenance. It is about 8 o'clock in the morning. Sean and I are taking apart everything on the side of the boat in order to varnish the cap rail and bulwark because they're starting to show. We're probably about a month too late on this, but the cap rail is actually in shape, but the bulwark is definitely starting to go only on the starboard side for some reason. I think that's the side that, that's generally healed over the most on the way down. It's taking the most salt on it. I think bright work does not last nearly as long if you hit it salty and it stays salty for, you know, forever. The time had come to go back into town once more for a reprovision at the local market. We would not be able to resupply again until Cabo San Lucas. San Juanico was an amazing spot to stop, and if you have a surfboard on board, it is a must. You will be rewarded with easy waves to learn on and a comfortable anchorage to sleep in. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more in the future, please go to our Patreon page and consider becoming a supporter. If you want more details about San Juanico, and all the places we have visited, go to svprism.com. Next time on SV Prism.
we set sail for the 95 mile trip to Bahia Santa Maria. We make good time under sail and snag a gorgeous fish as we drink in the perfect sailing weather. We make landfall to explore this incredible geological area and its breathtaking views. Thank you for watching and a huge thanks to our supporters. With your help, these videos are possible. Like always, fair winds and following seas.